Hello, Lawrence from Athens, and thank you very much for your time. Uh, I know you have a lot of things in your mind. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, and congratulations, of course, for the SIACA Awards uh, next thank week in Rome. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, I would like to ask you, uh, how do you explain all those unique skills and the fact that in your age, uh, you have a great knowledge and great skills, uh, as I said, that can compete with those of other, uh, even renowned scientists. It's a bit hard to say, uh, because what I actually just do is when I study and so forth, I just take a book or, or whatever is needed for the course, and then I read it and then I do the exercise and then I'm ready. <laughs> it, it goes very fast. So I don't know why, but I just feel like myself. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a bit hard to say. Yes, it's a bit hard to say. Since when, since when do you study this card and, uh, and, and you have understood that you uh, that you have a tendency to learn all those things. Uh, uh, from which age did you did you understand that uh, you you can learn so many things so easily? I I never uh, <laughs> saw that uh, uh, of myself. I always uh, uh, my my father and my mother uh, can explain it better from my. Uh, from, from the beginning of my uh, school. Yes. But um, yes, uh, I, I actually be begin, began to understand it when uh, all the cameras were in my classroom and I thought, mm, maybe I'm really special. So it was, a, it was a, it's a bit hard to say from my side, but my parents, yes. Yeah, I, uh, uh, I read in an interview of you that uh, your goal is to give uh, to humanity, it's, let's say, holy grail, to give immortality to humanity. Yes. Uh, how will you achieve that? What, what I'm trying to do now is, for, first of all, you, you could see it, I think, as a very large puzzle, right? And what I'm doing now is, um, of, uh, and all the pieces of the puzzle are different studies. And what I'm now trying to do is to uh, look at all of them, uh, studying all of the different studies. Yes. And obtaining the knowledge from those studies. And for example, one of the studies I just did was physics, especially quantum physics. And now I'm going to, uh, and now I'm also going to. Uh, uh, going uh, to uh, further with my uh, master's degree in physics because in the bachelor they give you a sort of basis of everything in physics but I want but in the master they give all the details and I am now busy with the masters because I also want to know all the details <laughs> and uh, but then I, I and then of course a PhD like always <laughs> And also, uh, then I can do different studies, for example, uh, medicine and other studies. And, that's a, and then I will come, I will try, uh, and maybe when I have all those studies, then there, there are certain links I can um, put between the uh, different studies, yes? yes? And so combine the knowledge of the different studies. And then I get maybe new insights and then I think I can work towards immortality. Uh, uh, how do you imagine this immortality? How do you imagine it? The immortality so that we, we will not die? How do you imagine immortality? In my view, I imagine it's something like that, that we will be uh, partially robotic and partially human. It's, it's something like a cyborg type of thing. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so humans will use mechanic body parts. We will live with mechanic body parts and our cells won't die. Do I understand it right? Because we will use uh, mechanic bo body parts. This is your idea? Yes, yes. using mechanical body parts, yes. Hmm. 
but maybe if humans become more cyborg, uh, maybe do, do you think that we will not be so human uh, after all? If we, if we use a lot of, of, of mechanic body parts, maybe it won't be us, it won't be me and you like we are now with our head, with our arm and like that. Uh, have you thought about that? Uh, I think I think one of the biggest problems uh, has to do with consciousness. So if 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 you, if you still uh, have consciousness and you replace all the rest with body parts, I don't think that would be a problem anymore. Ah, good question. Um, Lori, you told me that uh, that, that physics is the basis of everything, right? Uh, I want to ask you about quantum mechanics and the reason that you are so interested in this field of science. Okay, this is the, the base of everything. But uh, do you believe that especially quantum physics, it can change our whole perspective that we have for the world uh, today? Do we have a lot of uh, more of things to learn about uh, quantum physics? Uh, yeah, for example, uh, there are already some articles that I have read. Which, which are talking about quantum consciousness. Mm. Yeah, for example, combine, uh, so, so the origin of consciousness. So those, for example, research fields, uh, I think that that will be useful for immortality. So that's why I'm studying quantum um, ah, physics. Uh, do you want to tell me more about quantum consciousness? Uh, how would you define Consciousness. It is. It is still actually an active field of, of research. So it's a bit <laughs> hard to yes explain. Lauren, um, you told me that you want to com to combine a lot of fields of science. What uh, <laughs> Aristotle do did Aristotle? What Leonardo da Vinci did? The, the combination of many sciences. Uh, you told me physics, and you also told me uh, medicine. Uh, what, yes. what, uh, what else do you think is important for you to know so that you, you can be, um, so, so that you can uh, know so many things so as to achieve immortality? Medicine, think, physics, and what else? Medicine, physics, chemistry, uh, also, Electroengineering, because of course you, 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 you need mechanical body parts. Yes, a lot, lot of different studies, but, but those are my first, yes, first ones. Yes. Okay. Uh, so you have uh, finished school, right? And, uh, and you're now in the university. Yes, and right. I already completed the bachelor degree. You completed the, the, the bachelor. Uh, so your goal, uh, you told me in the beginning, you, you're going to do a, um, a, another master and yes, a, a, master. a, a doctorate. Yeah. Uh, uh, especially in which fields are you going to do that? Uh, first, uh, now I'm busy with the uh, physics field, so that's why I'm also going to complete my master's in physics and I will do a PhD in physics where uh, Antwerp will something be like my home base and I will co cooperate with other universities. Okay, uh, in which university? I read that you're going to go to England, to the University of England. I actually, I got, I got a lot of offers, but, but, but I don't want to talk about those. Okay. Uh, it's a bit... So, uh, Lauren, I would like to ask you, what uh, do you like to do in your in your leisure time? Do you have any favorite hobbies? Uh, yes, I have a lot of favorite hobbies. Uh, like, for example, before Corona, of course, because Corona made everything a bit more complicated. But uh, before Corona, uh, my hobbies were um, karting, uh, go karting. Go kart, yes. And also uh, playing games with my friends, hanging out with my friends. What kind of games? Uh, for example, Among Us and uh, Fortnite, mm. Minecraft, those kind of games. And of course, watching movies. Yeah. Uh, any... so, and uh, yes. Any favorite movie? Uh, yes, uh, Marvel movies I like a lot. Marvel. Yes. Marvel. 
Okay. So, uh, yes, and uh, actually uh, now with Corona, it's a bit different, but uh, I actually always wake up at 11 o'clock Spanish uh, Mediterranean times. But then I, uh, then I, uh, I, I, I just, uh, yes, wait until the other kids are from school, which is uh, uh, frequently around four o'clock. And then um, they also uh, yes, and if they don't have home, uh, if they don't have homework, because I think they they uh, give to the other children a lot of homework, <laughs> but uh, but when the, when their homework is done, and then uh, I uh, 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 chat with them and then say, uh, uh, are you free? And then we can uh, uh, game together online or, for example, watch movies together. Mm -hmm. I believe I believe you you used to finish your homework much earlier than the other uh, children, right? <laughs> yes. uh, one, one more question: um, how, uh, how do your your teachers uh, back when you were in the school react when uh, when they realized that uh, uh, that you are so fast in learning? <laughs> what did they say to you and to your parents? I didn't really uh, notice uh, that, that they were, uh, I think they were surprised, but, but, but I did, didn't really focus on it. So I didn't, I don't really know if they, how they reacted on it. So, uh, Lauren, uh, you have been awarded uh, next week in Rome, in the, in the Vatican, uh, in the SIAC Awards. Uh, what, what does this prize mean for you? It means a lot for me because for me it, 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 it's, it's much more important to receive a, a prize in the Vatican than a Nobel Prize because look, uh, a lot of scientists, they, they are working towards, for example, a Nobel Prize in physics, chemistry or a Nobel Prize, yes, but for me actually it's, it's, it's very important to receive the, a prize in the Vatican on, on holy ground. So it's a bit, um, yeah, I, I find it a, a very special. And actually then <laughs> I could actually say my journey is a bit over. <laughs> Already received uh, received an important award. So. Mm, especially in the Vatican. Okay, yes. uh, if I could bet my money on something, I would, I would bet that, that, that someday you will also uh, take a Nobel Prize. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren, uh, uh, thank you very much for this uh, no problem, uh, discussion. No problem. It thank was perfect you. meeting you. And yes. I wish you all the best to all, the, to, to all your studies thank and you to, to your goals. Thank you, thank you.